Okay, hello and welcome to the Barton Creek Farmer's Market. Uh, as you can see behind me, there's a farmer's market here. This is at the Barton Creek Mall here in near downtown Austin. Um, today, for the vlog, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna walk through the farmer's market, talk to some of the vendors, see if I can't get some of their stories maybe, get some of them to talk to me for the vlog, and uh, maybe eat some of their food, show off whatever they're selling here at the farmer's market. So, just to show you, if you're in town here on a Saturday morning, this happens Saturday mornings, um, you know, here's something to do. If you don't got nothing else to do, you can come to the farmer's market in the parking lot of the mall. There's a ton of vendors, probably maybe 50 plus, 75 vendors around here. And uh, I'm gonna try and show you as many of them as I can. There's a ton of different things. They're selling food, trinkets, uh, snacks, desserts, fruit, veggies, whatever, all kinds of stuff. So today, let's take a look through the farmer's market, see what kind of uh, vlog we can get happening today. Cool, let's do it. I have a mic. Oh, oh, I can okay. I can talk to you. Let's do it. Say hi. I'm, I'm Troy. Nice to meet you. I'm Maya. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I was walking past it. You uh, showed me that you're selling sunscreen here. Can you tell me a little bit yeah, about it? I love the church. You're the first person who was like, hey, come on in. Let's yeah, let's talk about that's this. That's my job. I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> Yeah, I'd love to share with you a little bit about our sunscreen here. We just launched it a few months back. We're a local skincare brand here in Austin. We're called Good Spread. Check us out. A little bit about our sunscreen is that it's an all-natural mineral sunscreen. Uh, I don't know if y'all have heard, but mineral sunscreens are just a little bit cleaner, more natural approach for our sun. I have not heard that. Yeah, cleaner, more natural approach for our skin and for the reefs too. So it is a reef-friendly sunscreen. Um, the salamanders at um, Barton Springs will thank you. <laughs> Um, you can put it on your face, you can put it on your body. It feels really lightweight. It's not your typical greasy feeling sunscreen. I hate greasy sunscreen. Yeah. That's why I choose not to wear sunscreen if oh. it's too greasy. Well. So. <laughs> well, I hope that, you know, you change your mind about sunscreen because this is definitely the better option. Um, yeah, would you like to try though? Uh, sure, I'll try some. Okay, great. My goal is to go around to as many vendors as possible. Okay. And Many of them, I'm sure, are gonna let you try. No, let's great. try this. Here, put this down. Here, you want Yeah, I can hold this. Oh boy, oh, it already feels good. Ooh, oh. ah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to the pool later on today. Okay, so. cool. Let's see. Yeah, I might be hanging out there too. There it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> well, now it's you know about greasy. us. Appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Thanks, Troy. I'm gonna try and get everyone that I can but you're the first, so Yay. I'll put you first in the video. Okay, great. This week, um, I came here last week as well because I, I know week, one of yeah. my friends, my, one of my friends sells burritos over there. Okay, so sick. He's yeah. not here this weekend though, so I kind of ran out of time. I was here at yeah. the last minute when everyone was packing up. So I was like, oh. all right, I gotta go back yeah, next week. Yeah, you're here at a good time. This and is usually when it show gets pretty everyone. crowded, so. Yeah, cool. well good thanks guys, you. yes. Thank you. Pleasure. All right, first person, check. Everyone come and buy some of this sunscreen. It feels great on the skin. Well, you're gonna have to smell laughter. Okay, my name's Troy. I'm Taylor. Taylor, nice good to meet you. Good to meet yeah, you. This is Beach Giza. That's Quinny. She's she's behind the camera. She's too shy to come do this, but she's the one who would wear this if yeah. we were to actually. Yeah, women are mostly our audience. Guys wear it too. All this is unisex, so it's good for both. Um, it's oil based, so it's gonna last forever on your skin. Like you can go read our reviews. It's literally like after I showered, it's still on. I smell after I went swimming. Oh, really? So this one would probably be a good one for you okay. or anyone who's like. What is this? It's called ocean water. Ocean water. <laughs> Do you well, like that one? I like it. I don't know. I mean, I don't wear 
even deodorant, really. I'm one of those kind of hippie guys, you but. Must have a clean I don't liver. <laughs> liver must. Oh, I don't know if my liver's clean. <laughs> if you don't stink, maybe. I'm not wearing deodorant, but that one's good for people that, that don't wear fragrances a lot because it's very light. It's like out the shower smelling. I'm sure yeah. you can smell that sea salt in there, cucumber, white musk. It's this good. is the one your girl likes, this and this is, is our number one bestseller. Oh yeah, this smells like something she would definitely. Yeah, that one is the one I literally get stopped, chased, waved, screamed, hollered at when I wear that one. It's very attention-grabbing. You're going to smell pineapple, coconut, vanilla. It's like that suntan, lotion-esque type of smell. And where is all this made? Oh, we make all of it by hand in uh, Buda, so South Austin. We're at the farmer's markets, uh, Lux markets, like in our apartment buildings, and then we're at a boutique. Wow, so it's made here. That's what I like to see. My friend sells burritos um, most weekends here. He's not here this weekend, okay. but he sells the frozen burritos. And they source everything near or around Austin. So yeah, but I'm glad to see everyone else is, you know, on yeah. the same theme. Yeah, most farmer's markets, everything you're going to find is like by hand, local, very clean. Everyone should be shopping at farmer's markets. It's the best quality and you're supporting small businesses. Like everyone here, this is their dream. You know? Yeah. So. Well, thank you very much. I'm. Okay. If nobody else says it's okay to interview them, then it'll be just be the two of you that make yeah. it in the video. But by the time I'm done here, you know, I have a small channel. It's like 160 subscribers. That's awesome. So, but it's all. I'm just trying to get everything around Austin. All everything to do, even if it's like a hike at Mount Bunnell, even if it's just going to the lake, whatever. So mm -hmm. this is an interesting thing to do on a Saturday. So. Yeah. I'm glad you took the time. Thank yeah, you. Taylor? Yes, Taylor. I'm Troy. Nice to meet you, Troy. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Thanks. Um, you should try, do you know Jessica Hollis Park? I do know Jessica that Hollis. That is really on the list. That, that one's gorgeous. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Thank you very much. Okay, two down. Here we go. <laughs> Talking to that. <laughs> what is that? Hi, this uh, we Thai kitchen. I have a food trailer at South Austin Bay South Food Park. But today I do have uh, the mango sticky rice. You can see the mango, uh, the sticky rice is my signature. It's uh, normally in the restaurant they do the white sticky rice, but this is a purple one. And the uh, mango is very sweet now. And this one is uh, fried pork garlic with another sticky rice. I would like you to try with this one rice. with the regular sticky rice. But you need to eat together with them oh. so, so you know like that what is the taste it looks like. Yes. Right? <laughs> and these are veggie egg rolls. Veggie egg rolls are inside right now is organic. Organic. And this sauce is a pineapple sauce. It go good with that. We sell out every week. So out every week? You're, yes. So this is Thai food from Thailand? Yes, from Thailand. I'm from Thailand, the central, non Taburi Bangkok. I've been to Thailand. Ah, to, to which park you like the most? Bangkok. I like Bangkok. <laughs> Bangkok. <laughs> Bangkok, busy city. <laughs> tra tra traffic. <laughs> I yeah, like big city, but but I like Chiang Mai, north of Thailand. Mm. I My to favorite, Mai. yeah, Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. So that's why I get all the silver from there. Uh, yes, yes, I better. like the silver. Yes, yeah. where are you from? Philippines. So ah, just never. <laughs> we have Thai yes. friends, and then yes. we love Thai food. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank I you so it. much. And then we have a lot of food at my trailer over there so after this one three o'clock i go open over there so yeah. we, you can try my traditional thai food she loves pork belly, I love, pork belly? I love that one pork. no not not that yeah, from like belly but it's good it's pork. Yeah. yeah i love it i love it thank yeah. you so thank you very much. much what's your name my name Ui. Ui. Yes. good to meet you nice to meet thank you, you. I love Thai food. Kapung kap. Kapung kap. Kapung kap. So, what's your name? Alex. Al Alex. Alex. Good to meet you. I'm Troy. Nice to meet you, boss. Uh, yeah. Here we are. I didn't know if a ton of people were gonna wanna be interviewed or allow me to talk to them, but 
You're like the fourth one now, so appreciate nice. it. I think we see a camera and we get excited. Yeah. It's like, ooh. So what do, you, shine. what do you got going on here? I want to I wanna spread the word about your, yeah. your business here to as many people as I can. Beautiful. Exciting. Exciting. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Yeah. So this is pasta fresh. Okay. Uh, my wife is Italian, and the recipes are passed down tradition from her grandmother. She was in the kitchen whipping it up, and she has a culinary degree. And it's Italian culture to want to feed the people and give everybody the fresh. I've I've heard about the Italian mm -hmm. culture wanting to feed everybody and yeah the very whole thing. Very big on dinners. Very big on family. Very big on everybody getting together and just. Uh, you know, talking with your hands and uh, <laughs> all that fun stuff. So, so you guys so sit yeah. here at night and like roll those and make the angel. What is that angel hair? Or maybe this is I don't know all the names. Spaghetti, fettuccine. Everything is handmade, uh, locally sourced ingredients. Try to get everything from our local farmers markets. Um, and what makes us different is we get our flour from this locally sourced um, mill. And they don't do this enrichment process that you'll find. That's what I was going to say. Flour has got to be the hardest part of this because you hear a lot of negative things about flour and the way it's treated nowadays. So yes. you guys can find some way around it somehow. Well, yeah, it's, it's the farmers that do it, you know. It's the farmers that we got to trust in to make sure everything's ethical and they're not putting in these preservatives that are, they're adding into all these uh, wheat and like that's why a lot of Americans have these gluten intolerances uh, because they do this enrichment process to keep it on the shelf a lot longer and we're working on trying to get flour from Italy to make it more original. That's illegal in Italy to do that enrichment process isn't it? So yes. you can eat a pasta all day long in Italy and not feel like crap? Yeah, you know what you're talking about. You know your stuff. Yeah, exactly. I know a little bit. Exactly that. <laughs> right. Yeah, you get to eat as much pasta as you want and try to eat as double to tr get that bloated feeling. Yeah. Like, you won't eat as much to get that bloated feeling that you will with the store-bought or even restaurant-bought pasta. So you guys do sauce, too? Yes, you, yes. You make the sauce, too? Yes, my wife does all this. She has the culinary degree, so, yes, she does the sauce, the meatballs, hand handcrafted meatballs uh, seared cooked in the sauce overnight so very tender flavorful everything we try to do as much flavor and love as possible good man I appreciate it I'm, I'm since we're going to so many people today I don't think we can buy one thing from everybody otherwise I'm gonna be broke <laughs> yeah that makes sense but that makes sense. My, like I said my goal is to show everyone who may or may not ever come to this farmers market you know what's going on because I've lived here for since 2016 I didn't even know this was happening I didn't even know this goes on here so well, thanks for spreading the I'm, a lot of people who watch my channel also live here and may or may not actually even know this exists so that's the whole point of coming here and you know spreading the word hey appreciate you brother <laughs> no problem Thank you very much. thanks for doing the interview I know you know it's not easy I'm I'm working on it myself too yeah this is only my too. third time doing interviews Getting so nervous and camera shy and all that stuff but. it's hard hey you're a natural i'm doing it too <laughs> what's up man i'm troy troy malik, good, nice good to, meet to meet you, you. malik malik yes sir uh, i was listening to you talk earlier you're from senegal yeah. or yeah yeah i'm from senegal i grew up in dakar uh, oh. came stateside when i was 16 years old so i've been here for a long time so earlier today we seen um you know beauty products food fruits, vegetables, you're the first coffee, I think, unless I missed one, you're the first coffee stand that I saw, so yeah. I love coffee, personally, yeah. so I'm like, I'm gonna, I gotta interview that guy, I gotta yes, talk to yes, you. Yes, you uh, to the right spot. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what's this all about, what, where's this from, and yeah, so, tell us about your business here. Yeah, so this is a modern take on Senegalese spice coffee. Uh, in Senegal, we roast our coffee bean with a fruit, we call it jar, uh, in Wolof, so this is the brand, Wolof. Wolof. So Wolof is... What does our, that mean? Wolof is our, our mother tongue in Senegal. It's a national language. Oh. So most people in Senegal speak Wolof. They're also the dominant ethnic group in the country. Okay. And they created this blend originally. And so the blend is made up of a Robusta bean. Uh, back home we use a Robusta from Ivory Coast. But here stateside we've been using a Mexican Robusta. And then we also we add a fruit to the, to the roast. So we roast the bean with a fruit called jar. 
And that's that's what you got in here. You got the beans and the. Come get a close up on these. So this is what it looks like. So this is the bean and that's the jar fruit. So this fruit grows in the lowland rainforest. Um, it's antiseptic and anti-inflammatory. So it's a staple of Senegalese uh, tr or traditional West African medicine, really. But in Senegal, we like to roast it with the bean. Okay. So when you roast it together with the bean, you get this very interesting uh, drink that's smooth, almost like a tea. Okay. It's very, very smooth. There's no bitterness to it. Um, it's got a very floral sort of aroma to it. So it smells really nice, yeah. better than regular coffee. And then uh, taste profile is going to be a little bit smoky, a little bit minty, uh, a little bit piney, peppery. So I haven't tried it yet, but I'm gonna have to. Yeah. I'm gonna have to try it when, you gotta get a when we. Yeah. So you, so you said the part of it was from Mexico. Yeah. So the bean, the bean we're currently using is a robusta bean from Mexico. Um, so robusta. What's interesting about robusta is, it's what's typically used for espresso drinks. So the robusta coffee bean has more caffeine and yeah. less sugar than the arabica bean. Uh -huh. uh, most drinks you would get typically at coffee shops will, will be made out of arabica bean. It's, uh, unless you get an espresso, if you get an espresso drink, it should be a robusta bean. Okay. So in Senegal, we only have access to robusta from Ivory Coast. So that's typically all we drink. That's all. <laughs> uh, but we don't like the bitterness that comes with it because there's a, lot, there's a high caffeine content in the in the drink. So we we put the jar, we roast the bean with the jar, which makes. You were it saying that you even drink this coffee at nighttime in Senegal. Yeah, back home they even people some people even drink it at night. It's sold everywhere. So if you yeah. ever visit Senegal or like the Gambia or Mauritania. Mm -hmm. You'll see young men walking around the streets and in like uh, corner shops will sell it too. But typically you'll see young men walking around pushing carts and they'll have the drink in, in the pot inside and they'll sell them in like these little cups here. Maybe slightly taller, but yeah. that's how people drink it. And it's always, always sweet. Nice. The way, yeah, the way they make it Senegal, in Senegal. The most recent thing I've seen of Senegal or the Gambia is that guy who just ran across Africa. Did you happen to see that? No. Some guy ran like ran a, a marathon a day, once a day for like a whole year. And he went from South Africa to Tunisia. I don't know, it just happened last year. I don't, know. I don't know if you saw that, but. No, I did not. But he, he went through Senegal, Senegal, Gambia, cause he had to go to West Africa right, right. to avoid, you know, whatever. But. That's amazing, <laughs> wow. But I don't know when's the next time I'm gonna be in Senegal is. Hopefully soon. You should, I, man. I haven't been to Africa yet. I, was, I used to live in Spain. Yeah. And I had a chance to go down to Morocco, yeah. but I might have gotten a little too drunk on my birthday, <laughs> and I missed my bus. So I've been, I've, I know, I've been I I haven't been to not even to Morocco yet. So Africa's on my list. Morocco's amazing, is it? Yeah. Well, yeah Senegal I, sounds nice too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Highly recommend. It's it's one of the better countries to visit. Tourism is one of our biggest thing in Senegal because most of the country is coastal. Okay. You know, so we have. Amazing beaches, yeah, you know, I've, hospitality is great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. What was your name again? Malik. Malik, yes, Troy. Okay. Yeah. Let's try some. I'm going to try some of this yeah, coffee. Yeah, try some. Yeah, you want to. Let's, let me, cold, let's get around. Try cold. cold? It's, okay. it's a little too hot here. <laughs> All right. How much ice do you want? Uh, a little bit. It's fine. How do you do this? You grab one of these? Oh, yeah. You can just do it. Oh, do it in there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. And I'll take care of you along the way My love, one day at a time will leave our troubles behind And you'll take care of me along the way Okay, wow, what a day at the uh, Barton Creek Farmer's Market. We went around, saw a bunch of products, from skincare to uh, fizzy drinks to fresh food, meat, veggies, jewelry. There was a coffee. There was perfume, all kinds of stuff. Just saw a million things that they sell here at the Fresh Farmer's Market. Now, everything from what everyone told us, this is all mostly locally sourced stuff, you know, organic. So it's not for, you know, peop if the same as what you might find at a Walmart or an HEB or something. This is real stuff, real food, real handcrafted products. It is not just, you know, your local grocery store junk. 
So if you are in Austin, if you want to come do something unique, please come and support the people at the local farmer's market here at the Barton Creek Mall on Saturday mornings from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. I believe is the time frame, but double check me on that. And yeah, there was a lot of talking. I didn't know how many people were going to be okay with me interviewing them and talking to them about their, their products, but everyone was really welcoming and open to me putting a camera in their face and just having them tell me a little bit more about their business. So I assume if you come here, people are going to be just as open to tell you about their lives and the small businesses they're creating. I would like to use my small little platform to help support these people who are doing the real work out here. So with that being said, I think we're done here. It's about 100 degrees now. The shirt's almost totally soaked. And I'm ready to go find a pool somewhere, cool off. So appreciate everyone watching. Thank you for the support. I got a few subscribers here today from people that I interviewed you. So the new subscribers, the people who gave me interviews, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. I'm going to continue to come back here and support you guys. Everyone else who watches this channel, please come by. Support these hardworking people because that's what uh, we need to do. So thank you. And I will see you on the next episode. Peace.